years of like the bonus set, and then exactly the same set <laughs> was completely transformed by our people and made it look like it was a sweet color set. And I thought that was amazing, and that's a really good example of the importance of a, a director of photography, how they could take just this, they could take a big, weird, inflatable breast and make it look completely different. Uh, what that does. I mean, it's one person. <laughs> I can sit, but. I thought 
it was terrifying. Well, um, one, of our, one of my favorite writers, Heather Radio, wrote that one. And I think she does a, an excellent balance of making things very scary, but then also funny, but not to the detriment of any character. She's uh, very sensitive. Uh, and it was directed that uh, episode by, we were so lucky again, um, Guillermo Navarro, who um, is actually talking about the EPC, was a director of photography for a long time uh, in lots of Guillermo del Toro's films and won the Oscar for uh, Antarctic. Wow. So he's a you know, perfect man for seeing the whole he managed to get into that episode. And then actually, the, the, the lady who played um, the Tooth Fairy was my trained in contortions. She wasn't an actor, she uh, had never played creatures before. They just said, we want her to be able to bend around and kind of haunt and things. So they got a professional contortionist sat to ask her and ask her very patient. And she held the ground and was very strange, much better than that. Um, but if there's no full season, yeah, okay. And Phil, what, uh, this is really, I guess, what I've got to say, like, what is, how was the day like for you? Know, life of the life of Tom Weiss when you were on set to see the color? What's my life like on set? Yeah, what's a typical day like? Um, I turn up and someone makes my hair look nice, then I put on the boots, and I have lots of tea. <laughs> And wait for lunch. <laughs> and then there's a bit of the acting that goes on in my head. Kills time for three meals. <laughs> and what's it wrong with being the hardest? What's been the first one part about getting to a new part, getting to an acting act? You felt a completely new way to all the previous did film. Yeah, we shot the first two seasons in a uh, uh, town called Wilmington, in North Carolina. And then we moved to Atlanta in Georgia. And actually, the thing that excited me most about that was when I drive to work, if we were out in various locations, everything looks like it's from the world of the You turn to, you turn the corner, and suddenly there's a long, leafy road that you just know somebody's going to come out of any moment. Because walking there also shoots the land. <laughs> um, so, have you ever thought that you would pass you one day just find out with a walk in there and shoot it and just go, right, oh, it's just from set ball? I was very tempted uh, to see if I could step in and be a zombie on a day off. But it takes a lot more than just turning up and whacking on zombie makeup and, and roaming around. But as I was saying earlier, there's a, a zombie academy have to go to and train them to be a zombie. Everyone there has a, effectively a degree in zombie, which is much better than a diploma in performing arts to go to. I wonder if you can advance and become a professor of zombies. I'll race you to that. This time next year, first one to the PhD in zombies. Right, okay. I think they think there wasn't a regular university that yeah. actually did a course in The Walking Dead. They actually ran a course in The Walking Dead, yeah. To, for, for, as part of one of their film degrees, I think they actually got an accreditation for it. Well, I'm pushing that, but I'm going to be a student there. Right, if you'd like to ask Tom a question, please don't be shy. Well, I think that'd be. Yeah, that's it. This is incredibly sinister. <laughs> For those of you who can't see, there's a small girl who lots of cosplay uh, staring at me eating Cheetos. Would you would you like to ask a question? Oh 
favorite dress? A big old piece of cake. Like, I've always preferred uh, new, new 
favourite scene in Sleepy Hollow? Um, the, the, there was a scene in season one, if you cast your mind back, you probably weren't even born then, uh, where Ichabod and Abby had the headless horseman's head and they tried to destroy it. And there was a series of very quick shots of them with a sledgehammer and then with dynamite trying to blow it up and in the tunnels. And I really enjoyed that one. Thank you.